I come from a family that uh, loved Caribbean soul and uh, my uncle, for instance, was what you call a chantwell. A chantwell come from the French word chanteur to sing and a lead singer in one of the carnival bands um, those days was called a, a chantwell. Um, prior to what we have today as a Caribbean, we had the chantwell singers. We had Caribbeanians singing in bands and he was a great chantwell and he would have influenced me the fact that we lived in the same house. My other brothers used to be involved in Calypso. The whole environment in La Ligue lent itself to, to be a Calypsonian, being a Calypsonian, because around carnival time especially, people were very much involved in all kinds of singing, whether it's singing in the string bands or the jab jab bands or the wild Indian bands, maypole bands, you know, singing Calypso's composing topical songs was definitely a part of the local culture. Singing on what happened throughout the year, the gossip, the rumors, what have you. We sing about that when carnival time comes around. But Calypso to me means dealing with issues. Well, it started off as dealing with local issues. That's, that's how it started historically, dealing with local issues. But in our, in our world today, um, we just can't deal with local issues. We have to see things from a broad perspective. So we, I thought that um, we need to look at things regionally and internationally. So Calypso for me means dealing with issues, whether it's local, regional, or international. Well, there are times when governments and so we try to restrict Calypsonians, to try to vet their songs. Um, but whenever a song has been vetted or banned, it's it helps the Calypsonian because people would want to find out why they banned that song. So the song becomes more popular. For instance, if you look at, I remember in Trinidad with Blue Boy Soka Baptist, um, there, were, there was confusion about the song. There was criticism about the song from the, the spiritual Baptist religion, as a matter of fact. And they banned the song from the airways, but then that made the song become more popular. You see, Calypso was born out of oppression. And that is really the seed of Calypso. And that is what helps Calypso to thrive. So the more oppression Calypso gets, ironically, is the more it develops. So Calypso loves oppression. I love when government reacts to my, react to my song, when they want to ban my song, it creates a lot of conversation, you know, a lot of argument and so on. You, you become more popular and the message gets out there anyway. <laughs>